Hi there, and welcome to another pencast for the course of Reasoning and Logic. In this one, we're looking at an old exam question. An old exam question in which we need to give a counterexample to the claim that for all integers n, if 3 does not divide n, then 4 does divide n to the third plus 4n squared plus 3n. Hmm. Okay. So the reason I want to take a look at this one is that I often find when grading these exams that the second part of the answer, which is what is requested here, explain how your example disproves this claim in at most five lines, is often a bit lacking. So let's think first of all about what we need to do. We need to disprove an implication. So how do we show an implication doesn't hold? Well, we're looking for an n such that 3 does not divide n, the first part must be true, and the second part must be false. So 4 should also not divide n to the third plus 4n squared plus 3n. Now we can probably do some fancy math to find this counterexample very quickly. I usually like to get a bit of a feel for how these things go. So let's just plug in some numbers first. So here's what we'll do. We'll just start at zero and plug in some numbers. And remember, we're looking for two things. The first part of the implication should be true. 3 should not divide n. And the second part of the implication, 4 divides blah, should be false. In other words, 4 should not divide n to the third plus 4n squared plus 3n. So let's take a look. 0. Does 3 divide 0? It does. So this thing is false. So this one doesn't work. 3 does not divide 1. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Does 4 divide n to the third? 1 plus 4n squared. Okay, plus 4 plus 3n plus 3. Uh, 1 plus 4 plus 3 equals 8. 4 divides 8. Yeah, 4 does divide 8. So this thing is false, and we want both of these to be true now. So let's try the next one. 3 does not divide 2. That's correct. 2 to the third is 8. 4 times 2 squared is 16. 8 plus 16 plus 6. 8 plus 16 is 24. Plus 6 is 30. 4 does not divide 30. That's true. So here we have our counterexample. So for n equals 2, 3 does not divide 2 holds, but n to the third plus 4n squared plus 3n equals 2 to the third plus 4 times 4 uh, times 2 squared plus 3 times 2 equals 8 plus, let me move my whiteboard slightly so that you can still see this. 8 plus 4 times 4 square, uh, 4 times 4 is 16, plus 6 is 30, and 4 does not divide 30. So n equals 2 is a counterexample. And so we have shown that the claim is false. So in an answer like this, what I'm looking for is not necessarily such a table or anything, right? I don't necessarily want you to show me how you came up with the counterexample. It's nice if you do, because it usually already gives you most of the explanation as to why it is a counterexample, but you don't have to. What you should do is definitely include something like this. Explain to me what your counterexample is. Mention or explain that the first part of the implication is true. And then show that the second part of the implication is false. So that we have a true implies false, meaning we have a counterexample. So with that, one, 
an answer to an old exam question, and two, hopefully some idea on the parts that I'm looking for when, you, when, ask, when I ask you to give me a counterexample and a justification or an explanation. That's all that I wanted to talk about in this video. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye for now.